How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave, and this is the second post episode two live stream. How is everybody doing tonight? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. We've got Jody in the chat. Jody, how you doing, bud? How is the weekend going? So far, it's going fantastic. How about yours? Let's see. Let's do some farming. Absolutely. We've got some farming to do today. We've got a couple of contracts already and a couple more in the background. So depending on how much uh, time we have here today will depend on what we can accomplish. But for the most part, the first ones we have here are just kind of set and forget contracts. So that is awesome. Reckless Gaming says hi. Reckless Gaming, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a great day so far. Pretty sure it's almost, uh, well, yeah, probably back to nighttime where you're at. Uh, you're what, uh, I think you're like, I don't know, seven, eight hours ahead of me, I think? Let's see, Jody says, pretty good day so far, awesome. Uh, working on my truck, putting brakes on it. Ooh, nice, nice. Gotta get the work done, got to get the work done. That's awesome, bud. Let's see, let's go ahead and just get this into position. First thing we got going on here is a weeding contract. We've got a cultivating contract and we have a plowing contract. 1950, so that's what? 7 750. Okay, so oh, you're not as far ahead of me as I thought. I thought uh, you were further, but it's only what? 6 hours? Cuz it's uh it's a quarter to 2 here. Let's see. Straight ham, how's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. It says good afternoon, good afternoon as well. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do is work on my car. Oh, absolutely. I need to get my garage all cleaned out because I've got uh, so much crap just in the way right now that I need to go through and just kind of get it all tidied up so I can start utilizing it again. <clears throat> we had uh, people, you know, my, my dad moved in and, and uh, you know, he's on the back side of the property now, and he, he had some of his stuff in there, and we're slowly getting it out. Uh, we had uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law here. My brother-in-law was here for about a month when he was uh, back from overseas, and then my sister-in-law lived here for about a year, uh, and it was just all that kind of moving things in and out, in and out, in and out, just got so out of control, and I just haven't had a chance to really kind of dedicate the time to clean it out and get everything done that I needed to get done. So, ah, you know, it is what it is. But uh, how's everybody's day, Jody asks. So let's see, let me, I forgot to change this over to live chat, not top chat. This early on, not a big deal. There we go. Uh, t -t 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 Let's see, let's, oops, I am clicking all the wrong buttons. So we got maybe, uh, maybe one more minute before we get rocking and roll. Man, I am really just clicking everything wrong. That's the one I want right there. Let's see. Reckless says, uh, I am 14. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And Straight Ham says, uh, great so far. How about yourself? I am having a fantastic day so far. Before we get going, though, let me go ahead and uh, say this. If there's anybody out there in the chat right now, uh, go ahead and give yourself a shout out because, unfortunately, YouTube does not have any kind of roll call system, so I have no idea that you're out there unless you say something. So one of those, go ahead and give yourself a shout out. Let me know that you're there. So let's go ahead and get rocking and rolling. We've got tons of stuff to do today. And little time to do them in. The little one is asleep right now. She's taking a nap. So we're going to take full advantage of it while she is asleep. Let's see. Is this, is this doing what I think it should be doing? We're up here. Why isn't... Okay, I just... Huh, that seemed weird. Um... I'm on the right contract, am I not? 
What is going on? None of the field names are coming through. Um. Hmm. That is really weird. Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's make sure all the machines are in position. I'll go ahead and save it. Back out. Come back in. I don't know what happened, but for some reason some... Oh, wait. Now it's showing field names. What is going on here? All right, I, I am not losing my mind, am I? I know that wasn't showing. Okay, but it's not cleaning up the fields of weeds. Huh. All right, you know what? Yep, that's what we'll do. We'll just save it, leave, come back in. See if that fixes things. Let's just do that. So, save. <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on and why it's doing that. All right. Let's see what everyone's saying while I'm catching up with everything. So, let's see. Jody says, mowing the grass in the game. Yes. So, that is on the docket. We've got a silage contract that came up. So, I definitely want to you know hit that up. Uh, Reckless says, I like the live streams. I appreciate it, Reckless. Let's see. Is that Aguiar TDH says, hey, hey, Aguiar, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I don't speak English, but I try to understand what you're saying. Oh, well, hey, I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us. Um, you know, unfortunately, that's all I do speak, so... I speak a little bit of Spanish, but that was from, like, back in high school, so eh, not so much. So, one of those, uh, I greatly appreciate you stopping by, even if uh, you're not uh, picking up everything that I'm putting down. Greatly appreciate it. Fury Machine Gaming, hey, hey, stopped in to show some love, as usual, as I edit another vid. What you got going on on the farm? Well, right now we've got contracts, but we are running into a bit of a snag with some of the contracts. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to do this weeding contract here. I'm on field 41. Am I at the right field? Maybe that's... No, 41. That's right. And it does say weeding. I don't see any weeds. Oh, there are some weeds. Okay. So yeah, there are some weeds. No, I can't turn the weeder on. That is so weird. Huh. That is so wild. I have no idea what's going on with this uh, particular contract. Let's try this again. One last time and then we'll just cancel the contract. We'll just dump it from here because I don't know what's happening here. This is just so, so incredibly weird. All right. Lower back down. All right, you know what? How much is this contract? What am I going to get paid on this? All right, you know what? $1,194 minus the leasing costs, not worth the headache. So I'm just going to just gonna bail on it. Ooh. And we got two, uh, two silage contracts. Oh, yeah. Nice. So you know what? We'll go ahead and borrow the equipment for that one because I want that crone. The big M. All right, so we got one. Wait a minute. What happened? What is going on here? Huh. 
I have, I tried setting everything up to get over to various places before the stream started. I don't know what's going on here. I'm so confused. And was I wrong about that waiting con? I thought I, I thought I canceled the waiting contract. Did I not? I did. Why do I still have the waiting equipment? Okay, now I don't have it anymore. All right. Apparently, I'm losing my mind. Apparently, I'm I'm just getting old and senile and, and just losing it. I I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Let's. Uh, all right. Let's try this one more time. Go to contract fifteen. There we go. Now go. Okay, they are at least attempting to go in some direction. Here's hoping at least. All right, let me catch up to what everyone's saying. Um, let's see, X23 says, man, tractors on thin wheels look ridiculous. Yes, yes they do. They do serve a practical purpose, but they do look silly. I do like me a big old chunky tire though. Let's see, I think this actually is supposed to be the other way around. I think it's supposed to be into the field. There we go, something like that. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we finally getting some work done. Holy smokes. After we spent the past, I don't know, 15 minutes almost? Yeah, 17 minutes just sitting here fighting with the game, trying to figure out, hey, why isn't this working? It's, it seemed like something was wrong with that waiting contract. I don't know what happened there. So weird. So incredibly weird. But let's come back down. Nothing's wrong at this point. You know, knock on wood. Everything's okay. And by the way, Axeman, hope, or uh, Axeman, Ax23, hope you're having a grand, uh, blah, 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 blah. wow, now I'm all flustered because of the, uh, <laughs> because of the game messing up. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Ay, ay, ay. All right, now let this drop down. I want to give myself just a little bit of space between this side of the field here because we got that uh, creek right there. I don't want to, when I send the worker off, for them to just go screaming into the creek. And I'm missing some. Man, that's a shame. That's a big old field of sunflowers that are just going to waste now. Withered. Uh, Reckless asks, how's my day been? It has been fantastic, Reckless. How about yourself? Hope, you, bleh, hope you've been having a fantastic day so far. Why am I just driving right past a whole allotment of them? There we go. Now let's see. Can it pick up at this angle? I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so it's not going to be straight through the field, but it's going to be pretty darn close. It's going to be really, really close. All right. Um... My day has been great. That is awesome, Reckless. Glad to hear it. Let's see. No. Oh, maybe I had the... Oh, no. Okay. I did have the orientation right. Yeah, it's supposed to be... No, wait. Yeah, it is supposed to be into the field. The plows are supposed to be into the field. Yes. And hey, look at that. Now, now we're making some progress. Now we got the worker over here. Ooh, and there's a stone factory. I forgot that was over here. Um, you know what? Bonsai, let's dive in. Again, we're just going to make a little bit of headroom on this side. So that when we turn the worker loose going in that direction, it's going to be nothing in the way. We're not going to, you know, run off the field or do something silly, have the worker, you know, hit that creek right there, get stuck. Had to reset, bring him back over. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm turning too much. There we go. Now, now, hey, hey, hey. Things are starting to go smoother. Holy smokes, it's like I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We It might start off a little bit rough, but we'll get there. We'll get some momentum going. We'll start making money. And I tell you what, we've made some pretty decent bucks. On the last stream last night there, we made quite a bit. We're up to 339000 I think we started at like 200000 give or take. And yeah, we, we made over hundred k yesterday. That's pretty good. And that's going to really help power the next episode that we produce, episode number nine. Yeah, we're going to be doing pretty good. Pretty good going forward. So I'm happy about that. But now, let's go ahead and get the worker up and running. And then we can set our sights on the next field. 38. Oh, that's that big one next to 40. Okay. All right. Let's get this kind of over here. And we'll even get this little, little sliver here. Custom says, hi, BDD. Hi, Custom. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Let's see, we are just rocking and rolling trying to get these contracts underway because holy smokes, we were running into all sorts of issues. Like I said, there had to have been some kind of conflict with the uh, with the weeding contract I picked up because it was just not working whatsoever. It, all the field numbers were disappearing. All the, the, the weeding itself wouldn't work. There just had to be something funky with that particular contract because now it seems like everything's working fine. Just weird. So incredibly weird. I don't think I've done a contract on 15 yet. I think this is the first one I've done. Nice little field. There's nothing wrong with this field. Alright, now... Set the worker off in this direction. They'll be good to go, I think. I hope. Let's see. Make sure. Okay, yeah, they're uh, yeah they're missing chunks here and there, but we will survive. Let's go ahead. Now this one I need to merge. So uh, here, you know what? Oops. So I need to remember to change the spreading on this and not, uh, there we go. Let's get this engaged so we don't, there we go. Okay, cool. Now we can go from there. Uh, Reckless says, someone died on the highway today. Oh, man, that's brutal. That is, ugh. It's never good when you hear stories like that. Just, mm. One of those that it's, it's always tragic when life is lost. Now, I think we'll start just like this. Drop this down. Something like that. And we are making a windrow. Yeah, now we're talking. Now... All that green there is going to turn into some real green and get us some cash, get us more money. Especially silage. Silage is a big, big money maker. And I'm actually, I'm kicking around the idea of leasing one of the fast balers. One of the, well, t technically the quick, quick baler is what I'm thinking about leasing. The reason I'm thinking about leasing it is because, one, it has silage additives. So I can get a little bit of something extra out of the uh, 
out of the output. But at the same time, it'll allow me to just wreck through this as quickly as possible. I'm not going to have to sit there and, you know, kind of hover over and, and go, you know, bail by bail by bail. I'll just be able to slam this in and out kind of thing. And I'll be able to use it for the uh, hay contract as well because there's another hay contract just sitting out there. So I don't know. I might, uh, might do that. We'll see. We'll see what, uh, well, it's one of those, I think it will just depend on the leasing cost. If it's like five grand to lease, then yeah, I might do it. But if it's like, I don't know, 10 grand, I don't think it's that expensive. I think it's only like three grand to lease the baler. If it's three grand, then yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, definitely lease it. Just that way we can kind of slam through it. We'll get that silage additive in there and as well, and we'll get a bonus. That'll be nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jody says, uh, how to get some stuff out of while mowing the grass. <laughs> and then Reckless says, uh, 339. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are doing really, really good. We... Like I said, we made almost a hundred grand yesterday just on the m two mowing contracts that we had. I mean, whoa, there's a tree. George, George, Georgia of the jungle, watch out for that tree. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> if you know, you know. All right, we'll move one more. Whoop, 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 whoop. Back up, beep, beep, beep. There we go. Man, that was a show I haven't seen in forever. Some George of the Jungle. And then they made a, a remake. Or not, technically not a remake. It was an original uh, TV show. Or not TV show. A uh, movie with Brennan Fraser. I think that was who played George. was uh, Brennan Fraser. And, I mean... It was a goofy movie, but, I mean, a movie based off a cartoon, it wasn't too bad. I wasn't really expecting it to be, you know, some kind of, you know, blockbuster or anything like that, but it was all right. I mean... I've certainly seen worse. There we go. <laughs> Again, I've seen Star Wars Holiday Special. <laughs> And like I was saying yesterday, I've seen the whole thing. Like I said, if you're a Star Wars fan, if you're a legit Star Wars fan, and you want to, you know, kind of, I don't want to say tease, like, some of your Star Wars friends, like other people that you know are into Star Wars, really, like, hype it up. Make it like, oh, man, this is one of the greatest things, and it's like one of the real deep cuts nobody ever seen. Have them look it up online because I'm pretty sure you can still find it on YouTube and all that stuff. And it's one of those where it is just an absolute torture. Just so incredibly slow. Nothing happens. I mean, it's just wild. And to sit there and think that this is the same creator that made all the original Star Wars that, that just did everything. And you can tell that every single person there, every single one, it had all the original characters. It had Chewbacca, it had Luke, it had Han Solo, Princess Leia, had every single one of them. And whoever did Mark Hamill's makeup for it did an atrocious job. Atrocious job. <laughs> but uh, it was just one of those, you could tell that they, all those actors, every single one of them were there just for a paycheck. They were there just to get it done. They were just contractually obligated to do so. And, yeah, it was brutal. Brutal. But like I said, if you've got a friend who's into Star Wars and they haven't seen it, and you want to just kind of, you know, have some fun with them, be like, oh, yeah, yeah, check it out. It's fantastic. They'll sit through maybe about five or ten minutes waiting for it. Just tell them it starts really slow, but you gotta, you got to give it a chance. you got to try it kind of thing. You know, it starts slow, but it will get there, and you will be so glad when it finally does, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, let's 
give this one more. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey. That's, huh. There we go, now we're talking. Let's go! There we go, there we go. And zip. Actually, you know what? This is going to be the same issue on this chunk here, too. So let's do a circle for no reason. Why not? And then get over and clip this back just a little ways. And I guess we can just start heading on this side. There we go. Something like that, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right, let me catch up with the chat. So, uh, Joey says, doing some spring cleaning. Nice. Still watch Scooby-Doo and the... Oh, yeah, that was a great one back in the day. Scooby-Doo and the Flintstones. Oh, man, I used to love that. One of my favorite Scooby-Doo's growing up, it was one of the movies. Um, it was... Oh, man, I can't remember the title of it, but it was Scooby-Doo and they meet, like, Count... Uh, Dracula and like all the, the, the typical like scary movie characters kind of thing but they're all like racers they all like race uh, in like like the goofy kind of wacky racer wacky racers wacky racers like go-karts and things like that and they have to you know enter into it and stuff it was way back when I was younger and oh it was such a good one I, it used to be one of my faves uh, it's been so long since I've seen it though uh, Jody also says, got my uncle to play uh, this game, Farming Simulator. He's doing Hills of Tuscany. Ooh, nice. Very, very good map, but tell him to brace himself because, again, he's going to run into a lot of issues like I did. Um, I have not seen them come up with any updates uh, to fix those issues. So most likely, as he progresses and as he goes on with things, you know, just just make sure you warn him. Say, hey, not every map is like this, but Hills of Tuscany is a gorgeous map and is worth playing on. It's just eventually you're just going to run into start running into issue after issue after issue. It's going to happen. Um, let's see. Reckless says uh, never slept <laughs> never slept yesterday. Uh, watched the live stream. Holy smokes, Reckless, that's awesome. I mean, that's not awesome. You should be getting some sleep, but I greatly appreciate you coming out and hanging out with us last night. Um, yeah, because I think it was like 3.30 in the morning when I started. I think that's what you were saying. Uh, so, yeah, no, that's that's awesome. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You know, you said you're 14 years old. That's all fine and dandy, but make sure you're getting some sleep there, bud. Sleep is important. All right, now that we got, oops, and I just knocked my headphones off. Let's see, Jody says, uh, okay, well, what kind of issues was, it? oh, so there were, uh, there were all sorts of stuff. So the sheep pen that is built in onto the map there, uh, once you start having sheep in there, the sheep, if you play the game long enough, will eventually wander out into the rest of the world kind of thing. There was one time where I where I saw my sheep just literally out in the middle of a field uh, out towards the west of the map. Like, in the middle of the field. just They were just kind of there. Um, there was... I mean, the, that was that Let's Play series that I said was just a death of a thousand cuts. It was just one of those where it was all really, really small issues. Oh, that was another one. The bales. So whenever I would use the bale storage on that map and I would try to spawn a bale, it would actually spawn underneath the map itself. So you'd have to spawn, like, 10 bales before you'd actually start getting bales, but then you're losing the bales by putting them in there. It's incredibly wild uh, how it worked, and I was really disappointed with that because that I ended up losing a ton of bales before I realized what was going on. I think I ended up losing like 10 or 15 bales before I realized, oh man, I'm just, I'm losing them kind of thing. And they're, they're forever gone. But the even worse part about it 
is that they still showed up on the bail counts as being a part of the map, like part of the world. So I'm sitting there and, you know, taking up bail store or bail capacity on screen, but I can't access those bails. They're just forever there, but not kind of thing. And it was just, yeah, that was, a, that was a big one. Um, that was the same map where if you follow along with my channel shorts, the, I was, I ended up hiring a worker and the worker took my vehicle. I was supposed to take it to clear to the other side of the map. So there's a starting farm on the, I think kind of Westish side of the map. And then I was having them take it to the complete opposite side of the map. And when I had returned, because I had walked away, I was having the worker take it from one place to the next while I was recording uh, uh, an episode. When I came back, my tractor was upside down and right there by the starting farm. Well, I ended up playing back the episode or playing back the, the recording to see what had happened. And turns out that as they were making their way around, you know, the curves and all that stuff, they came up to another AI, uh, not AI worker, but another traffic spline like some just uh npc you know driving around the map kind of thing and they bumped into each other and all of a sudden my tractor literally went into orbit just went rocketing across the map and landed right there next to the farm in the little village right there next to the starting farm and just sat upside down until i returned until i came back and that's how i found it it was it was funny, but again, it's just one of those kind of issues that, that popped up. And like I said, there, was, there were tons and tons and tons of little issues until eventually that was the same map where I had to abandon the series. I ended up cutting that series short, like at 20 episodes, I think, because I couldn't load back into the map. Eventually something happened where I wasn't able to load into it. Um, I tried again here recently to see if I could restart the map or get it to, to re-log in to the save file and it just wasn't able to do so. So I I just abandoned it. I completely deleted it from my system there to you know free up the space. But one of those that I was incredibly disappointed because it is it's a beautiful map. It's absolutely gorgeous. But like I said, just death of a thousand cuts eventually just you know so many different things happened to where eventually it, you know one big thing finally happened and i had to abandon it so yeah just just be aware that 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 is likely going to happen to your uncle but you know make sure that you kind of tell him you know hey you know don't judge the entirety of the game based on this one map there's there are issues with this particular map um, let's see. Uh, he told me there's any maps you can recommend to play. So, if he's looking at one like Hills of Tuscany, uh, one that I can recommend for him would be, um, if he's, if he's looking for kind of like an Italian, uh, Italian style map or something kind of similar in that vein uh, let me find it just real quick I think it's called Italian Rice let's see Hills of Tuscany yeah Italian Rice 22 by TDA team that one is a very, very lovely map. Has a lot of features going on. The fields themselves are, for the most part, relatively square, so it should be easy for somebody who's just getting into the game. There's a few required mods. I think there's only one, two, three, four, five required mods, so it's not a huge amount of required mods. Um, the starting farm is really nice. It's got a couple of farms that you can expand into. Uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of the kind of Italian style map if that's what he's looking for. Um, if he's not looking for anything like that and is just looking for more of a kind of general, you know, nice kind of relaxing map to play, you know, especially being new to the series, new to the game itself, then uh, one that I would recommend would be Westbridge Hills, uh, a good American map by I believe Zero Ito did that version of it. 
that one is really nice. And that's also one I would recommend for your wife as well. Um, you said that she was uh, started a new one and that she started the other one that I recommend, which I cannot remember which it was off the top of my head. But, um, again, it's very good for somebody who's just starting out. It's got tons of different size fields, but it's also nice square or rectangular size shape fields. Um, you know, some are big, some are small kind of thing. So there's a good range uh, in there. So you can kind of get used to all the different kind of, you know, sized equipment, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. And it gives you kind of a good introduction into pretty much the entire world without being so overwhelming. The the hills and landscape are really nice. There's gentle rolling hills. So you're not really having to factor in power of the equipment into things or anything like that. You're able to just kind of go around and just kind of enjoy the map kind of thing. And like I said, Zero Ito being one of my absolute favorite map makers. Uh, yeah, he does an absolute fantastic job on that map. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's Zero Ito that, that made that one, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's see. Straight Ham says Ohio Richland is a pretty good... Yes, that is another really good map too. So uh, that's another good one to check out. Um, can't think of anything else off the top of my head. But... Uh, oh, you know what? Uh... Celebuki's map. Um, what was the what was it called? Why well, can't I remember it? Just released recently. Ravenport. Ravenport. Uh, that's a good one to, to check out. Again, nice. That one's a bit more intricate because of the the hills and the undulations of the of the map, but it's not going to be so overwhelming because it's not really affecting the fields themselves as much as just affecting the kind of road network and stuff the areas in which you can take but outside of that it, it's a really solid map uh and a good starter one too because it's you know a good variety of size of fields and stuff but it also gives you the nice squared off fields too uh good for for newer players uh, Jody says, okay, I'll tell him to uh, check it out. Told him you uh, you gave me some good ideas. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, tell him to check him out and see what he thinks. Uh, Straight Ham says, Edgewater is good. Edgewater is a good one. The only thing that would concern me about Edgewater itself, um, if I'm not mistaken, let me confirm this before I go and open my, my big mouth. Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yes. Okay. Edgewater is a is a great map. I do like that map. The only problem is is that that might be a map that's a little overwhelming for somebody who's new to the series, uh, and not one that I would personally recommend just because of the. It, it's very similar to how this map is set up, to where there's a lot of different and oddly shaped fields. There's a lot of river systems there, and a lot of different kind of like just different shapes and stuff. So it's one of those that it's going to be take a lot of time, a lot of patience and a, and for somebody who's just kind of getting started into the series, getting started in the game, might not be the best one to recommend just because of the different uh basically it's just a different animal to tackle. And that's one I would recommend more for people who are like more advanced and more farther along into the series uh than just kind of getting getting started with it Joey says Edgewater oh, uh, Straight Ham says it's strange uh, strange shapes yes it does have strange shape fields uh, like I was mentioning there and Jody says Edgewater is a good map yes it is a good map but like I said it's one of those I don't recommend for somebody who's relatively new to the game just because it could be a little overwhelming oh I said to, nope, said to lower. Nope, what are you doing? I swear, y'all, I know how to play this game. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. All right, we almost got all this done. Uh, let's see, while this is working, let's take a look at a quick, quick bailer. Uh, that. Do, 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 do. Uh, nope. There it is. The quick, quick bailer. 
60,000, so it's not going to be much to lease. Three grand? Oh, yeah. All day, all night. Holy smokes, because... Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, see, this contract is going to be 20 grand. So even if I lease it at three grand, that's still 17 grand minus whatever leasing costs. Oh, the cultivating is done. Booyah, all done. And that means I can take on this one. So 38 and 35. Where's 30? Oh! 35 is right through the trees right there. That's awesome. So I can just jump right over to that one next. And both of them are silage, right? Where are they both going? Oh, one's going to the biogas and one's going to livestock. So, eh, that's kind of a bummer, but that, that'll that survive. That That's not an issue. And this is at 29%. Uh, how's this looking? Uh, that way. Okay, yeah, so it's going. It's... Now, this one's going to take a while. Um, let's see. Whoops, let me go. Freedom. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and lease that baler. Baler. There it is. Quick, quick baler. Because why not? Silage tank. I'll do a red light. Because again, why not? Why not make it look like a case? <laughs> I love it. All right, $3,136 to lease. I will pay that all day and all night. Let's grab, ooh, you know what? Let's grab, ooh, uh, lower that down. Come on, drop it down. Pick it up, there we go. All right, now that's all done. Let's go ahead and fold that. Can I sneak through? Sneaky sneak, sneaky sneak. Oh no! No sneaky sneak. Looks like right next to it though, maybe. Sneaky sneak, sneaky sneak. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Love it. Love it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Straight Ham says, are we talking console only? Uh, not exactly sure. Jody, does he play on console or PC as well? Uh, Jody says, uh, he said he appreciates the help, but hey, no problem. Glad to help. Uh, Gold Gaming says, howdy neighbors, howdy Gold Gaming. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Straight Ham says, howdy. Jody then says, medium and slightly big fields. Uh, yeah, so if you're looking for that, uh, yeah, that's another good one. Griffin, Indiana, that's a good one. That's got uh, a nice range there. And it's got some irregular shaped fields, but still it's not too terribly unfriendly uh, for like workers and stuff like that. So uh, again, it's one of those that I, I tend to recommend for people who are just starting out kind of basic, uh, not, not necessarily basic, basic, basic's a wrong world. Uh, uh, more worker friendly style maps just because it allows them to kind of get used to things. They can kind of go from project to project kind of thing uh, very easily and be able to kind of get a good wide array of the different different activities that can be done on Farming Simulator. And that tends to be really kind of key, at least from my experiences when it comes to uh, you know people just starting out, is that they kind of want to start from one project, work to the next, work to the next, the more that they can get done and the more they can feel like they've accomplished, then they can really kind of, you know, get that kind of, uh, you know, big kind of understanding and appreciation towards the game itself. Let's see, let's continue making our way around and I'll catch back up with the chat. Uh, 
So I think this one I'll be able to get away with just doing one kind of outer pass here, one headland. There we go. And just like that. I might have shifted over just a bit. Yeah, so I'm going to have to clean up that little edge there at the back end. But that's all right. Not the end of the world. I'll wait for him to come back this direction and then pick it up from there. Uh, Straight Ham says, uh, I know Griffin, Indiana is a good map to start on. I've got a FS start on the map in 19. Yeah, so it, it is a, a solid, solid map. And the FS19 version is fantastic. 22, I think, uh, was good. I think it was good, but I kind of missed the whole Bigfoot aspect behind it. Uh, you know, the whole lore that Bigfoot moved on in 22. And, you know, it's kind of doing his own thing now, but left around all these coins around town. I don't know. I kind of missed it, but it is what it is. Not the end of the world. So let's see. Yeah, I missed that big old chunk right there. Let's go ahead and uh, drop down. There we go. missed it. Big old chunk. It's because I just moved over. If I hadn't moved over right there at the last second there, it would have been fine. Alright, now something like that. Perfect. Alright, so now we can get that up and running. Uh, fire this up. And you go grab the quick bailer. I can bail everything there at 38 and then move on Hopefully by the time I'm bailing, done bailing, I'll be able to move on to 35. There we go. Let's get some of that uh, some of that silage additive. There we go. And now I'm gonna unfold. Uh oh. I hear a little one's cries right now. What is going on? Wow, she's only been asleep for like not even an hour. What happened? I tell you what, y'all. I'm gonna get the tractor over to. Uh, I'm gonna get this tractor over to field 38, but then I'm gonna pause the stream and see what's going on. Uh, I might have to hop on, it might be a short stream, but if that's the case, then I will definitely be back on tonight. But give me just two seconds to uh, figure out what's happening, and I will be right back. I'll just stop this right here. Yeah, I'm hearing a, I'm hearing a lot of little cries, so I'll be right back. back and I do apologize this is going to be a very very short stream the little one woke up early for some reason and yeah don't know what's going on but I'm gonna go ahead and call it from here let's go ahead let's see we got these three rocking and rolling Howard C more okay so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and save back out 
And yeah, I, uh, I do apologize for the short stream, but I hope you enjoyed what we were here for. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope everybody here has a fantastic day, evening, night. Where? Oh, nope, nope. I gotta, gotta retract this. Hold on, I apologize. I've got to give my shout outs here because, uh, yeah. I don't want to leave anybody hanging out on that. So, I need to give all my tier twos a shout out, starting with Mark K, Will T Gaming, Luke Bernie King, Crazy Chris Sims, Ken Adlam, Rail Fanning Jonah, and Karma Comment Chameleon. Thank you all so much. Oh, no way, and there's another one. There is another uh, member to the channel. Uh, let me get them as well revere time todd is also the newest tier 2 channel member thank you all so very very much for being tier 2 channel members if you are interested in becoming a tier uh, i'm sorry not a tier 2 but just a channel member in general go ahead and check out the link in the description below or uh and the main channel page or below as well a join button there you can see the perks that you get available to you uh, you get things such as uh, custom badges, custom emojis, and you also get early access to the channel shorts as well as the edited content such as the Let's Play series. All that starting at 99 cents a month, that's for tier 1 members. Tier 2s get all that that I just mentioned, plus they get the shout out every single live stream that we do here i almost skipped it this time but i remembered right there at the last second there so that starts at 4.99 a month again if you're interested check out the link in the description below or the join button uh the goes directly into helping out the channel for the sustainability and the continued growth i greatly appreciate everybody who stopped by today i greatly appreciate all my channel members as well as everybody who subscribes to this uh, to this channel and just came out to watch me here tonight, today. Uh, greatly appreciate everything. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of scrambling here because I'm trying to, to get it into the other room and, and help out the little one because she's not too happy right now. But, again, I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithm enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said, I hope everybody has a fantastic day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Take care. Oh, and I'm sorry, one last thing. Be on the lookout because we only uh, got a little bit done here today. I will be back on tonight to finish up all this work uh, after little one goes down for her bedtime. So, hope everyone has a fantastic day. Take care.